I'm not usually on the Ned Beatty side of this situation. Best I can guess is ouchie in the boom boom. Guys, it's me. I've come back to save you. Cleveland, thank God you're... Wow, look at your skin. You're radiant. Yeah, you look really relaxed. Well, a seaweed wrap will do that for you. You know, you guys should take better care of yourselves. Well, I'm not sure you picked the best scenario to walk in looking your most attractive. You can't do anything to me I haven't already done to myself. Guys, I'm sorry I wanted to be friends with you. Male friendship is not about emotions. I get that now and feel nothing about it. You're up. Uh the, uh, curlier-haired individual. You're making it worse. Can we at least have a drink and get to know each other a little? I'll go first. I'm an Aries, and I ate a bunch of glass that's about to come out. Now you go. <clears throat> but, but, you don't want me. I'm frigid. I'm just gonna lie there. I kiss like a cat. <laughs> Peter! Let go, my negro. Looks like it's four against one. Four against two. Thanks for your help, monkey. Rip their faces and nuts off. Thanks, Peter. How did you know we were here? Well, I felt bad after you left Quahog, so I called your house. Your wife said you were doing a friendship thing in the woods, and I immediately thought, well, this is gonna end in here. So I tracked you down, and here I am. But I thought you didn't want to be my friend anymore. Well, as soon as you left, I started really intense psychotherapy with that gay guy in town who has like a thousand jobs. They once said his name was Bruce. Right, so apparently I have abandonment issues stemming from my relationship with my father, blah, 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 ticking time bomb, so I pushed you away before you could do it to me. But I would never do that. We're BFFs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Cleveland. I still love you. See, Cleveland, that's the difference between our two shows. On our show... And I would have just been the black guy. <laughs>